This is a massive project for the decommissioning team. We've been tendering for power stations and we're very pleased to have won this, not just on a cost competitive basis, but a quality basis and the safety approach that Kelpie decommissioning applied in the, the application that we made. One thing SSC was keen on was new technologies in demolition. Kelpie came to the table with something new with a linear shaped charge instead of pre-weakening. So that was a, a real key aspect for us in selecting Kelpie. The CAD is extremely uh, important in engineering, inside the shell and the legs. The CAD is so important to show the easy way and explain how the progressing of the job is going. Really highly constrained site. Two of the other towers were very close to overhead high voltage lines. So not only a massive project, but one with a very high degree of difficulty. We had to consult with local authorities Highways England and the police authorities to arrange whirling roadblocks and closures on the infrastructure local to Ferrybridge Power Station to ensure that there was no driver distraction. Due to close proximity of local residents, we had to carry out some evacuations. We held meetings on the site, which we invited all residents to. We also held door-to-door -door consultations and did numerous letter drops to ensure that everybody was aware of the works. I've had Three different teams working on it, three teams of drillers, so that'll be six drillers, four or five teams doing the protection of the shell and the legs, two in a basket, a couple of lads on the floor cutting the protection to size. And I've also had a team who's doing the pack removal, which consisted of three machine drivers and a moxie driver doing the pack removal. All in all, good job, good team ethic. They're using the non-L system for initiation of the explosives. It's a very simple system to check. When I'm going out, and I did the morning before the, the blowdown, to check all the circuits, it's a very visual check. We don't require electronic meters. If we can see the tubing connected onto the detonators, then it's good to go. It's critical everybody understands what they've got to do, where they've got to be, uh, and what they've got to say if there's anything wrong. Break it down sometimes, you can give everybody the overall briefing and take individuals or such as security, ensure that they know what they're doing, and ask them some leading questions, get some answers from them, so I'm sure that they know what they're doing. Once the exclusion zone's in place, I'm absolutely certain that there's nobody in the exclusion zone, and once that's done and the firing team can give me the nod to say that they're in a good position and then I can talk to the police officers, bring the motorways down to a standstill. Once I've got all those sort of jigsaw in place, I can give the go-ahead and say, press the button. So yeah, it's pretty good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Fire now. Fire now. Fire now. Fire now. I'm asked on every project, have you pressed the button? Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't like pressing the button. I want to stand and watch, and I'll know within a nanosecond whether things are going exactly the way they've been designed, and on this occasion they did. The job went well. Overall, great success on the day. Um, you, you can't underestimate the amount of planning that goes into an event like this. The feedback from residents was very positive. They were happy with the facilities that were provided, the service that were provided on the day, and the communication throughout the event. Kelpbury have been uh, really good. They've provided uh, meetings about what's going to happen, time scales, and obviously about the arrangements for today. So yeah, it's been pretty good. They have been utterly fantastic. I cannot praise them enough. Even down to young staff that are stood outside our estate right now looking after our houses because we're not in. They've been absolutely brilliant. They can't do enough for you. Yeah, well, after the blast sequence, obviously we've got the processing to do. Been uh, 14,800 tonne in each individual tower, an average of 60,000 tonne to process. So we'll process up with all our attachments, separate the steel from the concrete. The aggregate will stay on site. We'll crush that down to 6F2 and go into backfill. The steel then we go for recycling. The process of this will take three to four months. We'll do that with crushers, pulverizers. The end product will be to give the client a great finish.
We have an amazing team on this project, a combination of high technical skills and high operative skills, but they all combine to form a very strong unit for kelp breed decommissioning. Kelp breed do surveys every year on every site, and this team in particular came out top this year. Teamwork is what it's all about, and all very focused on safety.